For many Americans, working from home is now more feasible than ever. One recent survey showing 58% of respondents say they can work remotely at least one day a week, with 35% having the option to work from home the entire week. And with more people operating outside of the office, some companies are stepping up worker tracking, or so-called tattleware or surveillance software. That is, supervisors monitoring daily activities through company-issued devices, including keyboard usage, screen time, clicks, and more. I would definitely leave that company um, and try to go seek a job elsewhere. If it was a company I really admired and worked for, I wouldn't be bothered by it. A recent New York Times investigation found eight of the ten largest private employers in the U.S. track the productivity metrics of their workers, many of them in real time, leading to many employees being subject to scores, trackers, idle buttons, and more, which can lead to lost wages and, in some cases, even terminations, according to the Times. Earlier this year, we chatted with business ethics professor J.S. Nelson, who told us people working somewhere with more than 500 employees should be on high alert. You definitely need to think about being photographed, uh, listening through your microphone, um, keystroke logging software, so recording what you are typing at any given time, what websites you're going to, who you're communicating with. As increased productivity and transparency have been cited as benefits of everyday worker tracking, experts say workers being treated fairly is crucial. When an employee doesn't feel the ability to control what's happening, how does it affect their behavior at work? They feel less responsibility to do good work, to be the best employee they can be, to fully engage themselves. And monitoring strips that away. It takes them away from their work in that sense because they're not as engaged in it. And with more and more employees already feeling burnt out, some workers argue not every job or task can be monitored digitally, often leading to real work falling outside of tracking data, including face-to-face -face meetings. You simply can't track all the behaviors that go into a successful workday. You have to continue to focus on employees' work outputs, not necessarily the inputs. And while there are creative options out there that might be able to help. If you work from home, you need a mouse jiggler. It jiggles your mouse to make it seem like you're working. Some are weighing whether to keep their jobs or take their talents elsewhere. Wait, there's a mouse jiggler? <laughs> yeah, they think you're working. Oh, so right. active. exactly. Okay, keep that's the next moving. level. Keep it Crazy. moving. Yeah. So then are, are, employee, are the companies obligated to tell their workers that they're monitoring them? This is a gray area. It sort of depends on where you live, Chanel. But legal experts, ethics experts have long said, look, if you're an employer and you're using this, the best practice is be upfront about it. Tell your employees what the expectations are. And if you're a worker, have that conversation. Talk to your boss, talk to your HR department, ask how the data is being collected, how is it being used. At the end of the day, if everybody's doing the right thing, we're good. But this stuff is here to stay. Yeah, and those are computers probably that are owned by the company 100%. that you're yes, using. Yes, they can put it on your personal devices. Right, yeah. But so many of us take home our work tablet and laptop yeah, sure. and phone. So expect it, especially you know. if your company is 500 people or over. Okay. I you think can you're right. It's on expect there. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Expect it, but I think it is the right thing to do sure. for companies to be like, just FYI, we yeah. can monitor yeah. you. Yeah, I'm right. letting you and know. And it's the right thing to do for employees to do okay. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Vic. Thank you. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.